God morning and good morning. Welcome to Talking Cancer, My Journey, My Way. I am your host, Luis Lopez. Um, thank God for the wake up. Thank God for the wake up. Thank God for the wake up. Um, how grateful am I um, every day? I'm super grateful. Like, amazingly grateful. You know, I sit here and I, you know, being able to to, to see things uh, through a different lens at this particular point um, of my journey of life um, is pretty, it's, it's pretty awesome to say the least. Now... I'm sorry, my coffee is brewing in the background if you happen to hear that. So, um, but no, seriously though, um, it's a trip to sit here <clears throat> and, and watch your, watch your kids grow up and, and to watch how they handle adversity you know um, my little one she broke her arm pretty pretty bad yesterday um, both her arm both her uh, both her, both her bones and her forearm split in half trying to do a one-handed cartwheel at school um, but the way she handled it, from what I can see, I mean, you know, after I talked to her, you know, I mean, cause like, let me, hold on. While she was at school, you know, she said she cried severely, like bad. Obviously, right? I mean, she broke her arm. It hurt. Things of that nature. But, um. You know, so, but when we got her, when we finally, you know, we beat the ambulance to the, we beat the ambulance to the hospital, you know, we had to leave work, or whatever. Um, so we're there, and she's just like as tough as nails. Like, she has her game face on, there's not a tear. She didn't really want to talk too much, but she was, she was like, whoa, you know, and her arm, you know, it was definitely, uh, you could definitely see the, the deformity in it, but, um, it, it, you know, the way she handled herself and conducted herself, she was like so big, You know, we get to talking about what happened and how it happened or whatever. And the other kids that were that were with her, they were doing one-handed. They were teaching her how to do a one-handed cartwheel. You're like, oh, you can do it, do, try this, like, do, do it like this, you know. And they're all doing it. So she does it and she slips and breaks her arm. But, um, you know, the kids felt like it was their fault and um, she's so big she was like no it's my fault I'm the one that did it when I know I'm not supposed to be doing cartwheels in the first place at school like she completely like owned up to all of this you know and it just helps me see the person that she's grown, gonna grow up to be you know, um, she's an amazing young fighter, you know, you know, I'm watching other kids come into the hospital room and with like, it was like break an arm day or something like that. Cause there was like three or four other kids in there that broke their arm and, you know, they're boohooing inside the hospital room and she's just like, She's good. 
She ain't crying. I mean, she looking at her arm. She was, you know, give you the little pouty face when, when they would uncover her arm because her arm is, you know, supposed to go one way, but then it does a 45 degree angle bent back the other way from the break. It was crazy, you know, to the point where, you know, the bone had almost ripped through her skin. So, um, it was pretty gnarly, you know what I mean? But how she handled herself was pretty remarkable to see in such a youngin, you know? Um, and it reminds me that, you know, we need to be, you know, we need to be tough too, you know, but there are moments in our life and I had to talk to her too, cause you know, she was tough in front of us, you know what I mean? Whatever. And I had to just hug her for a second and just let her know that it was okay to cry. Because you could tell that she was looking at her arm and it was sad to her that her arm was broke. You know, and and I just hugged her, you know what I mean, and told her it's okay to cry and pray with her, you know what I mean? And she cried a little bit, you know, but, and she let, you know, some of that out, but I was just like, you know, you don't always have to be tough. It's okay to, to live in the moment if you're sad for a second. But you just don't, you know, let her know that she doesn't have to stay there. Kind of some of the things that I tell myself. You know. It's okay to feel. But you don't have to stay there. You know. And um, just watching her grow up. And understanding, you know, how she's going to be tackling things um, here in the future is pretty amazing. You know, and I say all this because, you know, you know, we live in this world of, of cancer. And, you know, there might be moments well, you're feeling a certain way. You know, we have to learn to let go and accept those motion, you know, emotions and um, let that let that run its course. But once once is once is run its course for that moment, you cannot live there. You have to understand that life goes on and we have to keep moving and not necessarily accepting life and what has just brought you, but really living life because of what it has brought you and the turmoil that it, it has brought into your life. You know what I mean? So, you know, so... As we're talking, you know, and she's starting to feel a little bit better. You know, she starts talking about, <laughs> since I broke my arm, can we go to Target and get a toy? So now she's over here manipulating. <laughs> I swear, this little girl is something else. She's learning to move on. Which I thought was pretty amazing. You know, she did get a little sad later in the evening after, you know, they put, you know, her cast on. You put her arm back together, put her cast on and things like that. Um, she did get a little sad because she, you know, even though she thinks the cast is cool. Um, now she's just really realizing how limited she is, her her mobility how limited she is in, in doing things, writing or, or even playing with her, her, her doll or, or going to the restroom, you know, and trying to pull down her pants to go to the restroom and needing help, things like that, you know, just, just navigating just a little different, you know, so, you know, but I told her she's going to be okay, you know, she's got to learn how to, how to move her arm and, and, you know, her, it's got to be, 
there's going to be some repetition where, you know, you figure out how to just move and, you know, she's going to be okay. And it's going to be healed in no time. So, but yeah, you know, just overcoming the adversity and, and watching her overcome that and, and relating that to, um, in my situation, you know, I don't know if some of that adversity that, that I project, um, is running, rubbing off on her more than likely I would assume, right? You know, she watches me every day. She watches me fight every day. Uh, she watches me, uh, she listens to my podcasts and things like that, you know? Um, so, you know, she understands, you know, how to, how to, um, you know, live life and also say, okay, I'm not going to live in this space anymore. Okay. I got, I got it over with. I cried. I did whatever I had to do and, you know, and moved on. So that, I think that's pretty, and a pretty amazing feat to, for a little seven year old that just split her arm into. Yeah. Because that break was crazy. Um, and to see her arm like that was just, you know, it made me sad. Seriously. You know, but you know, you know, we, like I said, I translate that to, you know, my current situation, you know, and even though I don't, I don't sit here and I don't, I don't, I don't dwell on the cancer anymore. I mean, it is what it is. You know, my whole objective now is like, okay, what can I do with this cancer to help, you know, changing the outlook on, on how I do things and, and just moving, just moving to a different drum, you know, being able to, to be an advocate and, you know, attempt to, um, make people aware, um, you know, with age and signs and, and, and just, you know, positive, um, affirmations and, and just conversation, you know, letting, letting you know that life is going to be okay. Life is going to be okay because this is the, this is the life anyways. So once we understand that we are living life on life's terms anyways, so let's enjoy the moment that we're in and keep it pushing. It's imperative. You know, there's so many things that we can analyze in this world of why these people are rich or why these people are poor or why, you know, you know, and we could dwell all day long on, um, on just so many things. <laughs> just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I'm, you know, I get, I get stuck on that part because it's like there's so many things that we could talk about, you know, and you could talk about the Illuminati and how they're up against us and it's a, you know, whatever, you know, they're trying to keep us down and whatever. The fact of the matter is you're breathing right now. Take advantage of that situation and enjoy it. No matter the situation. No matter the situation. You know. True. The man is probably up against you. You know. He's probably the enemy. Yes. You're probably right. But the fact of the matter is. Is that we must live now. We must fight now. live whatever living feels like or whatever your your situation allows you to live enjoy the moment that moment you know some people are able to live live you know what I mean I'm talking about you know they're able to you know travel and and you know money's not an issue and, and things like that but just because those might be issues for you still doesn't mean that you cannot live. 
Just because you have cancer doesn't mean you cannot live. Might not be traveling all over the world, but doesn't mean that you cannot live. There's very, very, there's many different forms of living. But the biggest one is to be able to enjoy the situation that you're in. Not because of the situation you're in, but but be able to enjoy the things around you regardless of the situation that you're in. You know, and I sit here and I watch my youngest, my oldest too. But this one just happened to be, you know, because of the break. So I'm able to, you know, relate to that. Um, but just be able to, okay, this happened, whatever. So now we're going to do what we do to enjoy it. You know what I mean? And um, she's being she's being a trooper, so to say the least. Anyways, um, continue fighting, continue living, continue to do better. Cancer is just a word. We all have a demise at some point. Understand that. And uh, attempt to live your life as a good human being. You know, helping giving advice, steering people in the right direction. You know, definitely uh, do what you can to be better to the people around you. If they need help, so on and so forth. I guarantee you, humanitarian efforts will make you feel better. You know, it's a trip, the life that we live. But you don't have to fall down because it's a trip. Anyways, that's my time for today. You know, um, I appreciate everyone tuning in, continuing to listen, continue to listen to this journey of cancer that I'm on and how my mentality, you know, changes um, for the better, how it gets stronger. Um, the more and more I communicate and talk. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like or share, you know, um, for everyone around the world that is listening and tuning in and taking that moment. I appreciate you. And I'm out. Peace, love, one.